Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and I'm back at you again with another video. Let's get right into it. Their hope of failure for you has failed them. You still see success on your horizon, no matter what. Their hope for failure, seeing you lose, seeing you not get what you expect out of the situation is pitiful. They had visions in mind of you failing, seeing you this close to the finish line and not making it. They did not want to see you get to the end of the destination whatsoever. It is what it is, though. Their failure has failed them. You will succeed despite those who want to see you fail. It is a sad state of affairs to have those who don't want to see you succeed. But it's a part of the mission that you have to complete. There are going to be people who don't want to see you become all that you can be, all that you are. They're going to want you to stay mediocre, just like them. They're going to want you to stay in a place of comfort, just like them, all in the comfort zone. But you're going to have to rise above that. You're going to have to seek out challenges. You're going to have to seek out obstacles purposefully when it comes to you and what it is you hope to become. And those are going to change the way you look at what it is you have to do. It's going to give you an eagerness to achieve more and complete more. You're going to become hungry because once you accomplish one thing and then another thing and it starts to create this snowball effect of you believing in yourself and actually stepping out on a challenge, stepping out on a belief, stepping out on faith and seeing how God works in your life to make positive things happen so that way you can see a change. That way you can see the change. Not only will the change take place, but you'll see it. You'll see that you're able to withstand certain pressure. You'll see certain things that used to get in the way won't be able to be a, a, a burden to you anymore. You'll see yourself growing in real time, changing right before your eyes, not just everybody else's eyes, but before your eyes because you were able to see a change in yourself. That's all it takes is to be able to see the change in you, the want for change, the need for a change. That's seeing the change. You have to, to want it first. You have to see the need for it to take place. Why do I need to change? Why do things need to be different? So that way you can make sure that the failure that they want for you will fail them. All day and every day. There are those praying for your downfall. Only few actually want to see you succeed. Only few want to actually see you win. Only few want you to actually get to a place where they see themselves. Because they're so focused on the good that they have. They're so focused on the good things that God has done for them. That they're able to just focus on being blessed which is a, 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 a good state of mind to be in. They're focused on the good things that God is doing for them, which is the best state of mind to be in. When you are able to focus on the good things that God is doing for you, it, it hits different. Life is different. Everything is different. 
you're able to, to treat yourself and everything and everyone a whole lot better when you have some funds. When your life is going the way it's supposed to go. When you make the failure they want for you fail them. Their failure has failed them. They didn't want to see you cross the finish line. How about that? They didn't want you to be able to pop a bottle of champagne and and put your hands in the air and celebrate. How about that? They just want you to celebrate failure. They want you to put your hands in the air like you just don't care and not complete a darn thing, not complete anything. Failure for you means success for them. Failure for you means success for them. They want to succeed at making you fail. But this time around, as wise as you are, as intelligent as you are, as intuitive as you are, as humble and grateful and all-knowing and all-seeing through the eyes of God in you, as you are. You can see right through the scheme, the plot, the plan, the mayhem, the dismay, the faulty spirit. You can see through it all. Their failure has failed them. You will see success on your horizon no matter what. You're going to wake up and see success. You're going to have lunch and see success. You're going to prepare for your evening and see success. You're going to go to sleep and see success. There's nothing that you can't obtain. There's nothing that you can't achieve. There's nothing that you can't have. They want you to fail at getting it. They don't want to see you have it. They don't want you to be able to drive that, live in that, wear that, buy that, go there, live there, be there. They don't want those things for you. You have to want them for yourself. And the beauty of it is that's all that matters is that you want it for yourself. Their desire for your failure, their want to see you lose, their goal to block your shot, to make you miss your turn. It's like driving in the car with someone and they don't want to assist you on the journey. They don't want to try to help you find a destination. Sooner or later, they got to help or, 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 or at some point be of assistance or else they don't care about where you're going. These people wanted to see you fail, did not care about where you were going. They have a a, a lack of care, a lack of empathy toward where you want to go with your life. Success for you is failure for them. You become successful, they failed. You become successful, they don't win. You become successful, they don't get to feel good about themselves. You become successful... They're the ones with a, 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 what's the word I'm looking for, with a depressed look about themselves. If you become successful, they're going to have a depressed look about themselves. They're going to feel depressed. They're not going to feel their best. They're not going to feel good about themselves to see you win. I'm, I'm trying to let you know how powerful you are with these videos. They are content with where you are right now because success for you would kill them. They would hate to see you live a better life. 
They don't want to see you live a better life, but you don't care what they want to see because you're so, you're too caught up on the way God sees you because that's the true vision version of yourself. That's it. Nothing else. That's the only way that's the only way it's going to go. That's the only way it can go. It it can't it can't be otherwise. It cannot be otherwise. I'm drilling that home into your dome. It cannot be otherwise. You will still see success. You will see success like none other. You will see a success that that no one could have ever pictured for you. You will get to see that success. You will get to see that good take place in your life. You will see you will get to see those good things come into your life. And it's never ending. If you, if you were able to take something from the ocean, would you take a, a glad snack bag? Or would you take a bag as big as you could? Let you think about that for a second. The universe is the same way. God is the same way. John said that he came to show us that we may live life more abundantly. Excuse me, I believe I had uh, said Matthew the other day, but it's John. Gotta be, I, I just wanted to correct that. You are here to live life more abundantly. You are here to have a life of success. Nothing less. Or you're not supposed to have anything other than success and nothing less. And that's what you have to drill on home into your mind. That is what you have to conceive for yourself and your reality. You have to conceive it for yourself and see it for yourself and know this is what I can have. This is what I'm going to have. And I'm not going to let myself see failure. So that way, anybody that looks at me, they won't see failure. When I look at me, I see success. Regardless of what state, what condition, anything. I see success when I look at myself. That's my self-image. That's my idea about myself, success. That's my self-image, success. When I think about myself, I think success. When I see myself, I see success. And that's it. That's all, that's all there is to it. I don't see myself any other way. You don't see yourself any other way. Success is yours for the taking. Don't allow people to see you fail by seeing failure in yourself. That's the only way anyone could ever see you fail is by seeing failure in yourself, feeling failure in your mind. If you don't want to be a failure, don't think failure in your mind. If you don't want to be a failure, don't see failure for yourself in your mind. You have to change the picture of what you see for yourself. Like a motion picture, the mental movie of life, your mind. You are the author, the, the, the director, the playwright, the person who said, well, you're not the person who, you're the person who says cut for now. All right. Um, until the, the, uh, uh, the, the, you know, the ultimate, uh, uh, uh creator, you know, but but we're lucky to be blessed to be far away from the from that day as possible to this moment. All right. But to be back on track. Their want to see you fail is because they are wrapped up in their own depth of and disparities and failures and lost hopes and lost dreams. They're caught up in those things. You see greater for yourself. You see greater for your life. You see more for yourself. You see the things happening that you want to happen in life happening to you. It's good to see things for other people. It's good to want to see things for other people, but see success for yourself. 
It's like the mask. Save yourself. Save yourself first. It's like the mask. You put your mask on first. You become successful first. You worry about your own success first. Work those hours. Punch that clock. Stack your money up. Whatever it is you have to do, create. If you're a businessman or a businesswoman, create, always create. Don't worry about your sales, just create. Don't worry about being great, just create. Everything will come into fruition. Everything will happen how it's supposed to. If you see yourself as it and know that you're going to become it, you will be led straight to it. Ignore those people who want to see you fail. Don't focus on people who want to see you fail. Who cares about people who want to see you fail? You couldn't care less about people who want to see you fail. So... You have to choose. Choose to win. That's it. Choose that you're going to be a winner. Choose that winning is for you. Doesn't matter if you lost. Doesn't matter how many losses. Choose right now that winning is for you. There's life out there for you. There's good out there for you. There's there's greatness within you to go out and, and do more great things. They may have wanted to see you fail. They may have hoped of had hopes of failure for you. But you still see success on the horizon for you. Just like the sun rises every day, you see success for yourself every day. You wake up and shine every day. You wake up and radiate success every day. Stay away from people who make you feel bad about yourself because you want to feel success. You want to be able to think success. You don't want to think about what you did last year. You don't want to think about how other people think you are. You don't want to pick up those vibrations and and uh, get those downloads, get those energy transfers from other people. You're, you're working towards change. They're working towards making you stay the same, whether they're conscious of it or whether they're not. You still have to get away from it. Somebody's blindfolded, walking around with a knife, trying to put it, uh, just moving it in the air. You got to get away from it, right? They don't know what they're doing. They can't see it, but you still got to get out up and up from around that. It's the same way with uh, people who, you know, conscious of things or are unconscious of things. If you stick around, it'll hurt either way. Their hope for failure of you failed them. They thought it wasn't going to happen. They thought you weren't going to do it. They thought it couldn't happen. They thought you couldn't do it. But it doesn't matter now because your mind's made up and a mind's made up is one that cannot be changed because once certain things enter that mind, Belief, faith, a vision of success, a hope for success, a, a, a dream of success. Guess what? There's no, it's no turning back for, for that person because that person is on a mission. And no matter what happens, that person will get there. Regardless of the obstacles and, and challenges they have to face in life, that person is going to get there. Regardless of what comes their way, regardless of what people say, no, yes, that person knows they're blessed. They're going to get there. The things you want to do, you were put here to do them. You were put here to do great things. You were put here to be successful. You were put here to win. To know what it feels like to win. To live 
as someone who wins continuously, nonstop, regardless of the losses or the or, or the lessons learned. That's all they are, not losses, excuse me, lessons learned. So take your lessons learned and run with them. Take your lessons learned and earn from them. Take your lessons learned and become better. Their hope of failure for you has failed them. They weren't able to kill your vision version of yourself. They weren't able to destroy your vision version of yourself. They weren't able to to reinsert, replant, recreate the vision version of yourself. You looked at your life and looked at what you wanted to be and saw what was out there and said, I'm going to be, I'm going to do, I'm going to have this now. You made the decision as fast as you could. And if you haven't, make it now as fast as you can and decide. Once you decide, it's concrete. Once you decide, it cannot be otherwise. Once you decide, it is what it is. Once you decide, things will happen for you past your understanding. God's ways are past finding out. Once you decide, your mind magnetizes you for success. Don't become what they want you to. Don't become that failure. Don't see yourself as a failure. Don't associate yourself with failure. If you know that it's some things that you want to do, And you know there are some things and some places you're just not aware of or or at yet in your mind. Don't allow what others say to make you feel like you can't have what you want. Don't allow what others say to make you feel like you're not good enough to get what it is you want. Don't allow what others say to get in your mind and make you think that the life that you see for yourself as a reality isn't something that you can get. Don't allow other people to do that for you or to you. All right. Don't allow people to put that spirit in you to where you can't you 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 can't be what it is you want. You can't have what it is you want. Thoughts create spirits and people. And that's why affirmations are important. You change your thoughts, you'll change your spirit, you'll uplift your spirit. That's what it's for. It's not just a, that's that's what the repetition is for. That's what the robotic statements are for. You say it enough times until you feel an upliftment in your spirit, and then you know you've been changed. I know I've been changed. The angels up in heaven done done shined your name. The angels up in heaven, your thoughts, your mind is heaven. There's heaven in you. The kingdom of heaven is within. Your angels are your thoughts, and your thoughts protect you. Angels are a form of thought, and those forms of thought protect you. So what are you going to think? Are you going to think thoughts of failure? Or are you going to think thoughts that protect you from failure, your present state of fe- from feeling failure, your present state of, of seeing itself as a failure? Don't reject success for you. Don't reject your good from you. Don't see success as being something that you're not allowed to get. It's just too good for you. Oh, I'll never. Oh, I can't. Oh, I'm not the one. Don't see it like that. So I'll see you in the next video. We out.